we sing in Swahili and also use a little bit of some, uh, some influences from the coastal part of Kenya, which is predominantly Arabic. The Arabs never had percussion as such. So the Africans brought in the percussion. And even if you look at like when we play our music, we more play with the ear. Even the Tarab itself, even the Arabic influence itself, they played it with the ear. And they used the traditional harp. But the Arabs used to use the violin. Most of the time they used, you know, there's a traditional violin they were using. But mostly the Africans in Tarab, in, in the Arab, Arabic culture, the Africans brought in the percussion. This next one we call it Basikoi. My name is Josek Asikoe, born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya. A musician by profession, uh, and I play with the band Jabali Africa. Jabali means rock in Africa. Jabal means a mountain, but in Swahili it means a rock. The elements of the coastal part in our music comes from a beat called Chakacha. Yeah, and Chakacha is a beat whereby there's uh, three parts. There's one we call Chapuo, which uh, goes tipiku tupu, tipiku tupu, tipiku tupu, and then there's another one, the boom 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 boom. So you realize, like uh, in our music, that aspect of the chakacha beat is the influence that we get from the Arab influence. Okay. Music is life. Our music talks about a lot of issues. The poetry and the storytelling of the African peoples especially was in their music. The food they, eat, the food they ate, you know, and the day-to-day -day things that happen. Music was life, and when we go deep into these stories behind the music, we will learn a lot. <laughs> 